Hello everyone. In this video, I'll show you how to set up and install Apache Airflow on your local machine. Apache Airflow is a popular open source platform for scheduling and orchestrating workflows. It is designed to help you create, schedule and monitor complex workflows, making it an essential tool in the field of data engineering. Let's dive right into the process without wasting any time. Before we begin the installation, there are some prerequisites to cover. First, you need to install Docker Desktop for Windows. You will also need Visual Studio Code, commonly known as VS Code, which is a code editor. You can download it from their official website as it is a straightforward process. For now, let's focus on installing Docker Desktop. Start by visiting Docker's official website to download Docker Desktop for Windows. The link will be provided in the description below to make it easier for you. On the website, you'll find a clear button to download Docker Desktop for Windows. Click on it and the download will begin. The file size is approximately 500 MB, so let it download completely. Once the download is complete, navigate to your download folder and locate the installer file named docker-desktop-installer.xa. Double-click on the file to begin the installation. Follow the on-screen instructions, and during the setup, you can choose to add a shortcut to your desktop. Let the installation process complete. It may take a few minutes, so you can take a short break while it installs. After the installation, go to your desktop and launch Docker Desktop. When prompted, click Accept and proceed. You can choose to continue without signing in, as it is not necessary for this setup. Once Docker Desktop is launched, it will start the Docker engine. Depending on your system's performance, this might take a minute or two. Once the engine is running, we can proceed to set up Apache Airflow. Next, download a specific YAML file required for the Airflow setup. The link to this file will be provided in the description. Save the file as docker-compose.yaml in a new folder. Make sure the file is not saved as a .txt file by checking its extension. If it is mistakenly saved as docker-compose.yaml.txt, simply rename it by removing the .txt extension. Create a folder named Materials on your system and move the docker-compose.yaml file into this folder. Now we need to create an additional configuration file called .env. Open VS Code and navigate to the Materials folder you just created. In this folder, create a new file named .env. The file should contain two lines of configuration, which will be provided in the description below. Copy these lines, paste them into the .env file, and save it. With both files in place, open the terminal in VS Code and navigate to the Materials folder. Use the following command to start the airflow setup. Docker compose up D. This command will initiate the setup by pulling all necessary services, including the airflow web server, scheduler, worker, and triggers. Wait for the setup to complete, and once all services are running, you will see confirmation messages in the terminal. Now, open your browser and navigate to localhost 8080. This is the default port for Apache Airflow. You will see the Airflow login page. At this point, you need an admin username and password to log in. To create these credentials, use a command that generates an admin user with full privileges. The command will be provided in the description. Execute this command in your terminal, and within a few moments, the admin user will be created. Use the admin username and password to log into Airflow. Once logged in, you can access the dashboard and explore features such as DAGs, datasets, and security settings. Congratulations, you have successfully installed Apache Airflow on your Windows PC. Thanks for watching.